right in this quick tutorial I'm going to show you how you can apply a texture an image texture to a flag now somebody asked me how to go about doing this and um, I figured it's easier just to show you in video than it is to try to explain it in text basically here's a very simple flag I can just click play and of course I don't have any wind or anything like that but if I wanted to apply a texture to this, let me go ahead and put this in a uh, uh, texture view. That way, let me make sure I'm in cycles. All right, that way whenever we apply a texture to it, you can actually see it. All right, now what we want to do, we want to select the flag. Of course, go back to the beginning. Uh, go back to frame one or the beginning of your animation. But select your flag and then press tab to enter edit mode. And then press A to select everything. Now press U and assuming that you're looking at the flag head on like this and you're in orthographic view because up here at the top left you can see orthographic view and if you press the number five on the keyboard you can switch in and out of orthographic view. I would prefer doing this in orthographic view because it will work better but whenever you press U Instead of just clicking unwrap, come down here to project from view, and then go ahead and click on the materials tab, click new, and you can keep it on principle, might as well. The default settings work pretty good actually. And then um, click on this and choose image texture. Now up in the top corner right here just left click and drag and the reason why you want to do that is because you want to turn this window over here into a UV editor all right and then up down here click open and then open whatever your image texture is and in my case I just downloaded a, a flag and uh, where did I put it? I know it's in here. Uh, let me sort by date. Yeah, here it is. Um, I just downloaded this little uh, flag. All right, now what you wanna do is just over here press A to select all of these. These right here represent this, all right? And then you just scale this so that it's just as big, essentially. And you can press G for grab to move it like that. And you can scale it on the Y axis and it only goes this direction. Now, there, this isn't, this is like the quick and dirty way to go about it, which it works fine for uh, something simple like a flag. But essentially, that's that's all you're really doing. And again, I'm pressing G for grab and then moving it around like that. You don't have to press the uh, mouse button down. Just it, it has a hold of it automatically. And if you want to scale it just on this axis, it's S for scale and then X to go that direction. And then this axis s for scale y and of course it make it works much better if um, the flag the uh, ratio of the flag you know the dimensions match your image but of course you can kind of compensate like I did here leaving more space at the top and bottom to kind of you know level it out but essentially that's all you do and that's pretty much it. Now if I was to press tab to exit edit mode, now I have a flag with this image on it. And there you go, same difference. All right, if uh, you have any questions, let me know. Later, people.